David's job was to convince the king that he's the right man for the job. So how do you convince the king to change his mind when everything the king sees says you're not the one? How do you do it? You don't do it in your natural. You do it in the power of God. So how do you convince a king who's told you thou art not able to do what you say you can do? I wonder if there's anybody here before I tell you the answer who has ever been in the situation where you found yourself trying to convince somebody. I think I got a slide for that. Yeah. You're trying to convince somebody who is convinced that you are not the one. I wonder if you've ever been in a situation. Hallelujah. When you heard words like what David heard, it's impossible. You'll never be anything. You are a failure. You are fool. You too lazy. You too skinny or you too fat. You too dark or you too light color. You too young or you too old. But either way it is, it means the same thing. You are not able to do this thing. That's what David heard, but that's not how David responded. You have to learn how to ignore You have to learn how to ignore. We don't need you engaging in a battle and a fight with them. You need them, but you got to learn how to ignore them. You got to ignore them without your eyes getting glazed over that we already know you tuned out. You got to be able to look right there in their face and say, I hear you, but I ain't hearing a thing you say. You got to get over what people said. Can I tell you, they don't know you. You putting a whole lot of stock in people who don't know you. 